what we have here is a demand function and the demand function has been given as 100 minus 10 P what we also have is the current price which has been given to us as dollar five and then we've been asked to calculate consumer surplus now assuming that this is your demand curve so on the y-axis we will always have price on the x-axis we will have quantity so let's say this is the demand curve if the current price is five per unit which is here substituting five in this equation quantity demanded would be 50 therefore this is 50 what we know is that consumer surplus is the area of this triangle and area of this triangle or area of any triangle is one and a half into height into the base of the triangle and we know that since this distance is 50 the base of the triangle is also going to be 50 so half into height into the base base we already have which is 50 height would be the vertical distance between this intercept and the current price of 5 and what is the meaning of this point here this point is the price when the quantity demanded is 0 so in this equation if you set quantity demanded as equal to 0 it would be 10 P is equal to 100 and therefore in that case price would be 10 which means this point the y axis intercept is 10 this is 5 therefore the vertical distance here is going to be 5 so one and a half into the height of the triangle which is 5 and base of the triangle which is 50 the value of consumer surplus would be 125 and therefore the correct answer is option A.